What's going on guys, Colton Mush back at it with another video, and it looks like NVIDIA GPUs might not be able to support DirectX 12. So this is all coming out due to Oxide's upcoming DirectX 12 real-time strategy game, Ashes of the Singularity. They released a benchmark and various places found that the AMD graphics card had massive performance gains, while NVIDIA graphics card actually did worse with the DirectX 12 features. I'll leave a link to the full story on Reddit because it is pretty long and I don't want to go over the whole thing in this video, but if you guys want to have a look at it, the link is down below in the description box. Pretty much NVIDIA and Oxide got into a pissing war. So what's going on is that the Maxwell graphics cards, which includes the latest series of graphics cards, those of you with the 970, 960, 980, now what's pretty fucked up is that in the past, NVIDIA has claimed that they have full support for DX12. But like I said a little while ago, Maxwell doesn't support asynchronous compute, so that just kind of throws everything in a mumbo jumbo. Like I said, the link is down below in the description box. The whole story is explained there, and it's a pretty fucked up situation. And the situation gets even more fucked up because remember, a couple months ago, NVIDIA just came off the controversy with the GTX 970 not having 4 gigabytes of memory. So for a lot of you guys that don't know anything about DX12, you're probably like, all right, it doesn't matter. But for upcoming games and games in the future that are going to use DX12, this is a pretty big deal. If you bought a GTX 970 and you can't take full advantage of DX12, and there's a big chance that there are going to be big DX12 titles coming out in 2016, you're getting pretty fucked over. Now what's interesting is that I think a lot of you guys have seen the graph out that right now NVIDIA is completely dominating AMD as far as market share goes. But with this coming out, I'm seeing a lot of people on Reddit that are saying they're selling their GTX 970, they're going to get an R9 390, they're canceling their orders on their 970, they're getting an R9 390, they're getting an R9 380. Whatever the case may be, this might give AMD a chance to get back in the race. NVIDIA has not responded yet, but if they do, and if they actually say something substantial, I'll upload another video, but this is actually pretty ridiculous. And I don't know what to say, I've always loved NVIDIA products. You guys know that I run a GTX 970 in my main rig, but I can't defend bullshit like this. Now obviously, we need to at least give NVIDIA a chance to respond, but man, this is some pretty shitty news, especially for someone like me that loves my 970. If I can't take full advantage of DX12, well, that kind of puts a damper on my PC. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section about all of this. Some of you guys that aren't big tech enthusiasts probably don't understand what the hell I'm saying. Click the link in the description. Hopefully some people on there can explain it better than I did. But this is just a pretty messed up situation. Especially considering we're just coming off the 3.5 gigabyte fiasco with the GTX 970. This is not good for NVIDIA. Keep in mind that this doesn't instantly make your NVIDIA graphics cards potatoes. I know a lot of people are going to think that. DirectX 12 is a Windows 10 feature, and I know a lot of you guys don't even want to upgrade to Windows 10. You don't even care about DirectX 12. 95% of the big titles that are coming out are still going to support DirectX 11, but DirectX 12 is something a lot of people are very excited for, and it does suck that there is some mystery around NVIDIA and the graphics cards out right now with DirectX 12. That's all I'm saying. And it still kind of makes it a shitty situation along with everything that's been going on with NVIDIA in Nvidia game works, the 3.5 gigabyte fiasco. This just kind of adds on to the negative PR with Nvidia over the last few months, so that kind of sucks. So as always guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And as always guys, if you have a request for a future video, you can leave it in the comment section down below as well. And have a great day. Peace out.